Hey guys, my name is Shy. Welcome to another yes or no pick a card reading. Go ahead and pick your card. It's piles 1 to 5 and 6 to 10. Card number 1. Eight of Swords. And this is the Aleister Crowley Thoth deck. So we have the uh, captions down here. This one is interpreted as interference. Okay, this I see definitely as a no. This is, I think, your mental body, your mind, your anxieties, your worries, your your habits, even your habitual patterns, all interfering, getting in your way, creating kind of like a barbed wire fence around you. And you could be feeling that these problems or these hurdles are people or external factors getting in your way, but really energetically they are a manifestation of your own creation, you know, of the real, real root. If you want to dig all the way down, the root of what is blocking you or stopping you or holding you back is your your thoughts, your thought patterns, and just barbed wire, barbed wire. I keep seeing barbed wire surrounding you, and luckily... All you need to do is snip the barbed wire, right? You need to change those patterns that are creating this interference. It's kind of like static, um, like radio static or, you know, analog TV static that's interfering. And you just need to clear that out. And I would really think you need to be looking within to clear this out instead of looking without. <laughs> this really rings uh, true for me today. I kept just, I just wasn't feeling on it today, right? I was just having an off day. And I kept feeling like, oh, it was everything else and it's everybody else. It's clearly not me, right? And then, you know, I sat down and tried to sort through it. And I was like, yeah, yeah, you know, it's me. <laughs> it's me. So, you know, it's okay. Don't, you know, don't, don't need to beat yourself up too much about the fact that you're manifesting these problems for yourself. But just remember that in this situation, your external environment is really a reflection of your internal environment. And if you can resolve your, um, the conflict or the anxiety inside of you, it will resolve outside of you as well. Card number two. Three of Swords, Sorrow. Clearly that is a no. <laughs> um, Pursuing this course of action is going to wind you up in some level of heartbreak. I mean, there's always the possibility that you are going to go through this anyway. You're going to go through this regardless. And perhaps this heartbreak is going to be opening you up to healing. And it is a necessary part of your journey. But this is just a really negative card. And if you're trying to figure out if you should do something, this is this is typically a no uh, telling you, you know, Put your attention somewhere else. Redirect your attention to somewhere that's not going to manifest so much. Um, just unpleasantness for yourself. Yeah, this one, this one speaks for itself, guys. You want to steer clear of the Three of Swords. This one's a no. Card number three. Three of Wands, Victor. There we go. This is a yes. This is a good one. Three of Swords can be a little bit hasty, though. This this Victor energy, this victory energy of feeling like, haha, yes, it's finally working. Just remember that this is just your first taste of success. This is just the first manifestation or the first stage of your journey. You're not at the end yet. There's still a lot of hard work to go, and you're going to have to go through a lot more like grades, like school grades, a lot more gradations um, in order to get to the final end. So this is a yes, this is a really positive sign, but just don't get too overexcited on this one. Um, there's definitely a tendency to get just overblowing everything, thinking everything is way more awesome than it is, or just thinking that now you can just rest on your laurels. Cause just So this is a yes, but it's also a sign to keep going and to keep a level head and don't get too overexcited at this point in your journey. Card number four. The Hierophant. This is a yes. This is wonderful. Anybody asking about spirituality or any kind of, you know, personal journey of 
success and fulfillment, this is a really, really good sign. You are connected. You are powerful. You are in your power, but not in a way that controls others, just in a way that empowers you, empowers you when you're standing in your own sovereignty and you're holding the keys that will be unlocking mysteries to you. You can be getting all kinds of inspiration and creativity coming in because you're connected with your higher self um, and with whatever higher power you believe in. This is vertical alignment and everything finally clicking into place. This is a really wonderful sign to see, guys. Love it. This is a yes. Card number five. The Magus. This would be the magician. This is a yes. As you can see, this person is manifesting everything they could desire. This is a magician who is able to balance the elements, the four elements, which symbolize kind of the different areas of your life. You are being able to come into a place of finally getting what you want because you have already gone through the lessons of the different areas of your life. For example, you know, I'm thinking this is somebody who has had to learn social skills. This is somebody who has had to learn practical still skills about how to just, you know, pay the bills and live an ordinary life. And then you've also had to learn your emotional skills and your intellectual skills. And finally, once all the, the areas of your life have, um, have been addressed, have been completed, or at least to a certain level. You've gained a certain level of mastery in all the basic areas of your life, and now things can start to click for you because now you're able to harness all of those different aspects that you have been working on. This is when things really start to come together. So this is really good. This is a yes. Card number six. Knight of Cups. <laughs> this is always a, t a tricky one for yes or no because it is a yes if you are asking about love, romance, friendship, your family, any or your relationship with your guides, anything to do with your spirituality because this is love being passed around, um, you know, love really being channeled from one person to another. This is the messenger of love. This is your knight in shining armor. This is your Sir Lancelot. Okay, but I've seen this over and over and over again. Uh, whenever I am asking for a yes or no about money or my career or just anything practical, like, you know, should I go exercise? What should I cook for dinner? Like that kind of, that kind of stuff. If the Knight of Cups comes up, this, this is really saying that we are just not seeing things clearly. We are letting our emotions get away with us. We kind of have our head in the clouds. Everything is just a little bit too unclear because we're thinking uh we're not we're not thinking is what it usually means is we're not thinking we're leading with our heart and of course that's why it depends on what kind of question you asked right because if this is a question concerning matters of the heart this is really good if this is a question concerning your material physical life then this is saying you might have your head in the clouds a little bit so you guys will have to feel into that and figure out how that relates to your personal issue Card number seven. Prince of Swords. That would be the Page of, of Swords. Sorry, <laughs> not Cups. This is the Page of Swords. And honestly, I'm not getting a very good vibe on this. The Page of Swords can really go either way, depending on what you're asking and what the general, what the particular art is on the card. It, it's kind of tricky. I would say unless you're asking about math or something purely intellectual, that's when this card would be good. This is, you know, your embodiment of a new idea. But for most things, I think for most of the things you guys are asking about, this is probably a no. I don't know. Something about this card, there's these like kind of little people here like on wires. You know, it, it feels like somebody is being trapped by their own ideas or that somebody is so naive that they're being taken advantage of without noticing what's going on. I would say just looking at the art here, there is an underlying theme of needing to free yourself and needing to start over with a new idea, needing to embody a new idea, a new fresh start. So for the vast majority of your questions, I'm going to give this a no. 
Um, and just remembering that this is an invitation to free yourself from your ideas or intellectual paradigms that are holding you back. Okay, card number eight. Funny story with this one. As you can see, it is totally blank. I think this is a spare card. I think this is like, if you lose a card, you know, you can know that this card is the extra card because I actually pulled this for myself this morning and I was like, what the hell is this? I just got this deck, by the way. And, you know, there's nothing on it. I thought maybe it was a major arcana, but it's not in the book. It's not numbered. <laughs> there's not, no nothing. It's just this design. And I was like, ah, oh, that's pretty cool. This is, you know, if your dog eats that one card you dropped on the floor, you have this spare and, you know, you can just know what it is. And <laughs> when I was shuffling for you guys, I... Rem rem remembered that I didn't take out this extra card and I thought oh well you know if it comes up that means it really means something special and unique like just when I pulled it for myself this morning um it really meant a lot to me <laughs> um it was very special and very unique it had a special message that really wouldn't have been transmitted with the other cards so I've actually I've never done this before in a yes or no reading but I'm actually gonna <laughs> it not gonna give you an answer on this one this is like a wild card and this is the universe telling you to Stop uh, looking for advice or guidance outside of yourself. They're saying you need to be looking within. You need to be looking within. Just look at this art with these triangles and this clover in the middle, guys. Just feel into what that means to you. And I'm sorry to disappoint, but that's it. I don't have anything else to say on this one. This is special and the, your first instinct, whatever you thought of or felt when you saw this pop up, <laughs> that's what it means for you. So yeah, interesting, interesting draw. Card number nine. Eight of Pentacles, Prudence. This is a yes. It is especially good if you're asking about money um, or your career, because the Eight of Pentacles is all about becoming the master of your trade, finally no longer being the apprentice or being the student. You're finally moving into, you know, being the teacher or being the leader. This is gaining mastery of a practical skill. And in terms of money, that usually means that, you know, your money problem is going to start to turn around and going to start to come in. If you were asking something, you know, totally unrelated to that, uh, this usually has to do with getting ready for the future. You're thinking ahead. You're trying to figure out how you can be prepared. As you can see on this card, the subtext is prudence. So, you know, I think this is a yes. This is a good card to get, but it's kind of a cautionary card in this case as well, telling you to be prudent, telling you to not count your chickens before they're hatched and to kind of dot all your I's and cross all your T's, you know, do your due diligence, be prudent, uh, be, be a little bit cautious going forward. But really, this is a good card. And a lot of positive vibes here, but just, I think it is reflecting your state actually that even though you're kind of feeling that things are going to be going well for you, you're not that excited about it or you're not that optimistic. So, you know, it's good. Roll with it. Have confidence in yourself, but don't be too reckless at this time. Card number 10. Ten of Discs, that is the Ten of Pentacles, and that, as you can see, is Wealth. This is awesome. This is the card everybody wants to get when they come to a yes or no video, um, especially for everybody. I know like half the people, <laughs> half the questions that get asked on these are about money. So this is, this is a wonderful sign that your money problems are going to be solved, I would say, within the next few weeks, right? Um, not necessarily that you're going to become rich like Elon Musk, but you're totally going to have all the money that you need and everything is going to be fine this is you coming into your abundance this is you being able to take a weekend off or a week off this is you being able to have a glass of wine and just kick back and really enjoy it this is everything just finally giving you a break you finally reached that moment of completion of satisfaction and of abundance and of wealth so this is awesome congratulations guys on this one <laughs> And I think that's it for this one. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. Hope to see you again soon. Bye.